Akira with the Marketing Street Team here at Rubicon Theater Company, and I'm sitting with Chris Rodriguez and Megan McGinnis on the set of our current production, Love, Loss, and What I Wore. We're going to be asking them a few questions. Megan, you're a regular to the Rubicon stage, having appeared in the world premiere Daddy Long Legs and Little Miss Scrooge. And Krista, this is your first time on the Rubicon stage. Can you tell us a little bit about what drew you to the Rubicon's production of Love, Loss, and What I Wore, and what interests you most about Delia and Nora Ephron's portrayal of women? That's more than one question. <laughs> um, I love being called a regular at the Rubicon. I know. It's so awesome. I love the Rubicon. I love the audiences here and the fact that it's such a safe environment to do new work and to do work that's already been created, but creating our own version of it. Yeah. Um, and then you got the beach. I mean, <laughs> and then I kind yes. of just told you how you should, awesome Yeah, it was. that's basically why I'm here. Um, Megan had worked here. She's a regular. Uh, I've heard told. And uh, she's spoken so highly of it. And I've gotten to know some of the people uh, who are involved in the theater. And as soon as they asked, I said yes immediately. And we're having a great time. Oh, but specifically the show. Oh, specifically the show. I didn't know it. Yeah, I had heard about it. Yeah. Um, but I, of course, Nora Ephron is the queen okay. of all things you know, women and comedy. Mm -hmm. So that was sort of a plus. And it's just really personal. I think it's relatable. There's nothing in it that a single person wouldn't have some, I know. you know, recognition of in their lives. Yeah, it's amazing how you read through these very personal stories and you think, oh, that uh, that happened to me. Yeah. That applies to me. I understand that. I've been around that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. While you're here, you're performing in the Rubicon Broadway Cabaret event. What? We are? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's it? What's it been like arranging that, and has it helped that you two are already friends? Friends too? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know that we would. Have, I don't know what we would write about if we were all friends. Yeah. We would just be like, um, hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah. yeah let's let's, say, uh, <laughs> let's talk about our lives. Um, no. I mean, the biggest selling point was that we were friends, and yeah. it. Um, yeah. They asked us to do it, and I had sort of written this sort of thing before for my own show and uh, so I was like yeah I'm totally game to do it and then we just started digging through our past and it's fun because there are some things we didn't even really know about that was how similar, how our, similar lives. our lives had been yeah. like leading up to us meeting and it's been fun to get old boyfriends back in the, <laughs> You're giving things away. In the mix and everything. <laughs> they don't know how. Um, yeah, so it's just been really a good time. And, and then finding songs that uh, yeah. we can incorporate, songs that we can sing together, and songs that we love and don't get a chance to sing ourselves. Yeah. What extraordinary women in your lives have inspired you in your career? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to be really cheap. Megan. Oh no, don't! Because <laughs> Megan and I met. I was I hadn't even been on Broadway when Megan and I met, and so she was definitely my mentor. Still is my mentor, and has helped. Like the fir the first or second person I call when I have a, a career, you know, dilemma or something. Um, she's just always been really. She's very level headed, but she knows what's best. You know, she has my best interest at heart, and so yeah. But I may have been on Broadway before you had, but now we're just the same and so I go as equally to you. Now, now we're colleagues. Yes. Well, we were colleagues then but yeah. different. Yeah. yeah. And also I would say um, I mean I know that it's different. my mom's not in show business yeah. but I was gonna say the first person you call is your yeah, mom. My mom is. And so, that's yeah. the first person I call too. My mom. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean we wouldn't have a career without our parents. Yeah. The support. Yeah. You know, it's incredible. Yeah. So it's actually great because we get to do the show on Mother's Day yeah. and both of our mothers get to be there. And, and we get to so, take them out to dinner. Yeah. Shh, don't tell them. Yeah, don't. <laughs> so it's it's really nice to get to share this with them too. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. You can see Megan and Krista in the one night only Broadway cabaret on Monday, May twelfth, or in Love Lost and What I Wore now playing.